All right, so uh, I took you to the shed, and with the Langstroth, just those few colonies you saw out there, these are like all the extra boxes you need to have. Because boxes break, uh, they start falling apart. The other things, if you're doing Langstroth beekeeping, is you're going to need one of these, an extractor. You're going to need all these frames. See these frames and foundation? You got to get the foundation for them. It, the frames, because frames break when you're working the hives. Extra foundation there. You got to excuse the mess in here. And we come over here. There we go, more frames. These are things you got to have when you're doing Langstroth beekeeping. Queen excluders, all this extra stuff. Okay, again, don't get me wrong. Langstroth beekeeping is fine if you're going to be a commercial beekeeper. All right, that's where you make your living off of selling bees and selling nooks. Uh, doing pollination contracts. You can get a lot more of these on a, on a semi-truck to send to California to do almond pollination than you can to the top of our hives. But this is for someone who's serious and wants to get into it for a living. It's not a hobbyist thing. It costs too much just to keep bees to make a little bit of honey for you and your family. All right, let's go to the top bar, Avery. All right, our morning guest. Here's one of our top bar, Avery's. All these hives in here are about 11 years old. Using them. Um, these are perfect for if you're just wanting to keep bees to pollinate your garden and uh, produce some honey for yourself and the family. Um, these are the hives you want to use. I'm going to open one up. Everything's in this hive. In here you have, take the lid off, and you have your top bars. This one's empty. So all your top bars sit up on here. That's all you need. You don't need to get extra top bars. You don't need foundation right here. Let's see if I can find one that looks halfway decent. This little ridge right here, this is the comb guide. The bees naturally want to hang, on, hang under something and draw the comb out. That's why these hives are great because they're they're perfect for uh, natural beekeeping and everything you need is right here you don't need extra equipment there's nothing else that you need when you go to take the comb out you just go to the back and you start from the back and you cut the comb off of there that's it so if you're just planning on being a if you're just planning on keeping bees for yourself and you're not planning on becoming a commercial beekeeper with thousands of hives, then this is the way uh, this is the way you're gonna go. It's so much easier. The bees like them better. You can throw one out in the backyard, put a little swarm attractant in it, and it'll fill up with bees in the first season. Which reminds me, this again, this is the time that you want to start deciding on what you want. Where you're going to go with it. And then you start, you need to start getting the equipment. And you got to decide on the bees. You can attract bees. Or you can buy bees. But we'll cover that in another video. I want to try to keep these as short as possible. And uh, quick and to the point. Again... Langstroth boxes are great, don't get me wrong, but they're for commercial beekeepers. They've been marketed to the hobbyists because they can make a bunch of money on selling you all the little different parts because you you're going to have to buy all kinds of different parts 
for those beehives. You're going to need more boxes as the colony grows. You're going to need queen excluders. You're going to need extra frames because frames break. They're only made out of that cheap GMO pine nowadays that comes out of China. But if you just want to do it for yourself to help the environment, your local environment, to collect honey and to enjoy beekeeping, this is the way you do it. Top bar beekeeping. And all of these are the Texas top bars. All right, until the next lesson, have a great day.